You're listening to Frank Talks, Pleasures and Lifestyles, and I'm Frank because I have to be. We're in studio today with Marvy Arlick of MarvyArlick.com. He is an image and fashion consultant. Marvy, let's talk about, an exp- give me an explanation of your services. Um, well, let's talk about how I got to uh, where I am teaching men. Perfect. You know. um, like I mentioned before the break, I spent a year like really ch- improving my own fashion and another two years improving my skills with, with women. Uh, so that's like three years of studying fashion. I got to the point where I lo- knew a lot of guys who were trying to um, learn about dating and women at the same time. And they noticed my fashion style and the reactions I would get uh, from women based on the way I'm dressed. And they started asking me questions um, and asking me advice. It was so much so that at one point I decided to put on a, a seminar. Uh, I think you were you were there. That's right. I was uh, one of your uh, audience participants at that seminar. Yeah. So we got about uh, 15 guys. Well, was, I think I brought all my clothing. <laughs> mm, that was that was very rare because uh, you had come in with a couple of suitcases and were showing different shirts. I had never seen a man who had so many shoes and boots. I only brought about 20% of my clothing, actually. But. It, it was just ridiculous, uh, but you definitely had an incredible knowledge base there. What I was amazed about was the lack of knowledge of most men on basic fashion and rules, but how I call it, rules, but basic fashion knowledge. Give me an example. What is something that you would consider basic fashion knowledge most men would not know? Believe it or not, that your belt color should match your shoe, shoe color. Belt color should match shoe color. Yeah. If you're wearing, a black sh- wearing black shoes, wear a black belt. And that's something that most men don't know, in your opinion. I bring it up, and believe it or not, yeah, a lot of men uh, are like, really? Um, that's more of a basic one, and, and I'll, I can come up with, go with some more as we go along. Um, but basically, yeah. And so that was interesting to me because I realized there was a lack of knowledge of how men don't know how to match their body type to the type of clothing they should be wearing. What happened at the end of the seminar was more interesting, was that guys came up to me and they wanted me to go shopping with them, personally. Because they, under- they understood the basics I was talking about, they wanted to see it in person. So I started doing that. I started going with guys and taking them shopping. From there, I was able to develop this whole program that uh, I've developed to help men which comes to like my services and what I do now, which is I usually sit down with a guy for about half an hour, figure out his lifestyle. Uh, obviously, I can see his body type, his background, what he does, where he goes to meet women. Um, I'll do some research, and then we'll go, on a five, we'll go shopping for five hours. Um, right now, I'm doing it strictly in Montreal because I'm from Montreal and I know the areas to go. And I'm de- currently developing tr- uh, in, for Toronto, New York. I'm trying to develop programs there, too. Um, so we'll go shopping for five hours. We'll talk about um, what type of clothing they should be wearing based on their body type, but more importantly, how they can develop their own personal sense of style going forward. I'm really only teaching in those five hours the basics that they can run with and move forward. Then, you know, eventually they can do free follow-ups with emails, and I've also started a newsletter that they can join. They can ask me questions, and I put that up on the newsletter and try and answer it as well. So that's really what I'm doing right now. Uh, so many questions I want to ask you. Let's start off with the topic of body types. How many different body types are there? What are the characteristics? What do you look for? I look for height, tall, medium, short. I look for build, stocky, skinny, or overweight. Basically, combination of those right now. And what's some of the advice that you would give uh, someone pending their body type? I'll go over... For body type, I'm looking at uh, the type of pants and basically the types of shirts, um, what sizes they should be wearing for their body type and their height, uh, what patterns they could be wearing to either accentuate their body type or hide certain uh, negatives they see in their body shape, that sort of thing. Okay, so let's say there's somebody listening right now who maybe is uh, five feet tall and very skinny. What kind of advice would you give him? Someone who's a bit shorter, who's, who's, who's skinny, I would wear more tight-fitting clothes. Um, you can wear, you can buy tailored shirts, for example, button-down shirts that are tapered on the sides. I'd wear jeans that are straight leg with a little bit of flare at the bottom. 
it's going to give a lean look and won't it'll hide a bit their their slim build guys who are tall and have a slim build uh they have an advantage they should show that off because most if you look in most uh magazines what do you see tall skinny guys so for women that's what's in their head when they think of a good looking guy so a guy who's tall and skinny should accentuate that because women associate that with with good looking women guys who are short and skinny um Women subconsciously want to feel that the, women, the guy they're with is going to be able to protect them. And sometimes if you see a guy who's really short and, like, short and skinny, they might not feel that. And that could work against you trying to attract or believe it or not. So wearing clothes that make you look maybe wear layers, make you look a little bit more bulky. Um, and try not to accentuate the fact that you're really, really skinny. What about people who are overweight? What are the general rules? I've talked to you a bit about that, and you've helped me on my seminar on that because um, you seem to have a lot of good ideas on that. You can wear stripes, like vertical stripes is more slimming. Um, wearing, you know, wearing, um, again, layers. Wearing clothes that are not too thick. Uh, making sure you're not wearing uh, pants that are tapered at the bottom. That'll make you look bigger. Making, you know, making more of a relaxed fit pant or jean helps as well. Stuff like that. If you're wearing suits, a uh, bigger guy you should probably wear more of a double-breasted suit than a single-breasted. We're going to go to another commercial break. When we come back, we'll be talking to Marvy about coming up with our own personal styles. Here on Frank Talks, Pleasures and Lifestyles. From Loser to Seducer is the story of Frank B. Kermit. This book marks the triumph of a nice guy over most of his inner demons. This includes going from being a loser to managing five lovers at the same time, his first Valentine's Day with two women at the same time, and getting back the one that got away. Want to learn how you can change your life? Buy this book at franktalks.com. Talks is sponsored in part by the Personalized Symbolic Peacocking Seminar. Guys, do you think that your father has a great sense of style? Are blue jeans and a clean t-shirt your idea of dressy? Then you need the Personalized Symbolic Peacocking Seminar. Does 1982 live in your closet? Do you own clothes that have more holes in them than a slice of Swiss cheese? Then you need the Personalized Symbolic Peacocking Seminar. Look at the contents of your closet. If you think that navy blue and dark green are your colorful clothes, then you need the personalized symbolic peacocking seminar. When you pick up your date for that night out on the town, does she cringe at your wardrobe? If you think that ladies might wonder if you're colorblind, or if your girlfriend has to remind you to wear a clean item of clothing, then you definitely need the personalized symbolic peacocking seminar. The personalized symbolic peacocking seminar and telephone consultations, only available at franktalks.com. Frank Talks is sponsored in part by Everything Out of Her Mouth is a Test, a man's guide to the emotional needs of women. What would your life be like if you knew exactly what to say and do with women? This book is for the guy that simply wants to learn how to handle women's tests by addressing her emotional needs. By this, you create the type of attraction that will make her see you as the one she was destined to be with. This book will teach you how to get the woman you want and how to keep her. Everything out of her mouth is a test is the Rosetta Stone for men to understand exactly what a woman means when she speaks and how to respond. Is that worth changing your life forever? Buy this book at franktalks.com now. <laughs> 